Dear fellow activists and compatriots, I thank Teatro Obrero of Negros for informing me in advance of its online commemoration of the Escalante Massacre and for inviting me to express my solidarity with the Filipino people, especially Negros Occidental, in remembering the martyrs and paying them the highest respects. I wish the Teatro Obrero the utmost success in presenting meaningful and inspiring cultural performances in the commemoration. The Escalante massacre occurred on September 20, 1985 in Escalante Negros Occidental when the armed minions of the Marcos fascist dictatorship represented by the Marcos crony Governor Armando Gustilo gunned down the people engaged in a protest rally to mark the 13th anniversary of the declaration of martial law, express grievances and make just demands. The thousands of protesting people, more than 5,000, included sugar workers, farmers, fisher folk, students, urban poor, professionals and church people. They were rallying against subhuman low wages, loss of jobs, rising prices, mass hunger, malnutrition and poverty, and they were demanding agrarian reform, land distribution, fair wages, and improved government services. Instead, they received hails of gunfire from the Regional Special Action Force, the Civilian Home Defense Force, the local police, and the private goons of Gustilo. Twenty of the rallyists were killed, and thirty were wounded. The names of those martyred are inscribed on the wall of remembrance in the Bantayog ng mga bayani. William Alegre, Michael Dayanan, Rodney De Mejilio, Rovena Franco, Juvelin Jaravelio, Alex Labatos, Angelina Lape, Norberto Locanilao, Rodolfo Mahinay, Rogelio Megalien Jr. Claro Monares, Maria Luz Mondejar, Rodolfo Montealto, Agnano Ornopia, Nenita Orot, Edgardo Salili, Ronilo Santa Ana, Juanito Suarez Jr., Manuel Tan, and Cesar Tejones. It is of great importance that we commemorate the Escalante Massacre in order to honor the patriotism, heroic struggle, and sacrifices of the martyrs and the rest of the suffering people who were with them and in order to draw inspiration from them because we are once more confronted by a reign of terror and greed that competes in brutality and rapacity with the long detested Marcos fascist dictatorship. The Duterte regime knows no limits for its acts of treason, tyranny, mass murder, plunder, and deception. The tyrant has taken advantage of the COVID-19 pandemic in order to enact a law of state terrorism in the name of anti-terrorism, step up the mass murder of workers and peasants, social activists, human rights defenders, and critics of the regime, rechannel huge amounts of public funds to the military, and to the private pockets of Duterte and his gangmates and gear up for the rigging of the 2022 presidential elections. Let us recall that the heroism and supreme sacrifice of the martyrs in the Escalante massacre were not in vain. The Escalante massacre outraged the entire Filipino people and the people of the world and moved them to condemn, isolate, and fight the Marcos fascist dictatorship. It helped to bring about, after five months, the downfall of the brutal and corrupt Marcos regime in February 1986. I hope that the cultural performances in the online commemoration of the Escalante massacre by Teatro Obrero will stir up the memory and conscience of the people and will inspire the people to rise up and end the current Duterte reign of terror and greed as soon as possible. Patriotic and progressive cultural organizations will follow the example of Teatro Obrero. 
The people have had more than enough of the Duterte regime and are being driven by their own sense of dignity and suffering to get rid of this despotic and corrupt regime that has already committed too many grave crimes, worsened the crisis of the semi-colonial and semi-feudal ruling system and escalated the intolerable conditions of oppression and exploitation of the people. Long live Teatro Obrero! Long live the National Democratic Movement! Long live the Filipino people!